Hi, if you're just finding me, give me a second so I can find this feed. I have some exciting stuff to talk about as well as an energy report and I'm doing Reiki cards today. I got some new cards I'm excited about. So, give me a second to find the feed. If you're just finding me, please share this out to um, constantly Facebook band from sharing in any areas that are not my own group and things like that. So I always need you guys to help share this feed out. Take a second to do that like I am. If you're catching me on replay, it's cool. You can still, you know, give this a share to participate not only in my third eye giveaway I do every day. Um, I don't find the person until the next day so the people on replay can participate, but we just changed our page formats to make it a video page so now you guys get badges and things like that if you share. Drop your name if you're going to want a card. I'm about to get started. Just give me a second. We have an amazing energy. I'm noticing it's a little quiet. People are probably doing a lot of integrating in right now. Um, we really have an amazing energy, so I'm going to kind of talk about what's going on with Ascension. So take a second, share this out, drop your name if you're going to want a card. I'm about to get started right now. All right, I will start out. Um, I'm going to Glastonbury tomorrow. I'm really excited too. I just kind of need a vacation, I think. <laughs> I just kind of need to get away, so I'm going to go um, do a work trip where I can go film some more sacred sites and channel out some good energy, which is something I really enjoy to do doing. So I'm really excited. I put an event up in a lot of our group areas and tried to pin it to the top of the group so you guys can find it. I have an event on this page for the live feed that I'm doing in Glastonbury next. Um, we just went there with our Stonehenge trip and it was amazing. I had a way better time there um, with just the energy and the things we were doing. Just an amazing trip, an amazing energy, as spiritual as you can get going to some of these places. So I'm really looking forward to this. I am, that's why I had to get on video today. I'm about to get off and pack after I'm done doing cards. Um, but I had to get on video so that I could tell you guys about it. I'm going to be doing a special activation there. Um, I probably wouldn't have been able to tell you where Glastonbury was when I was asleep. So, you know, I am in the United Kingdom and it is one of the spiritual centers of the planet. Um, I'm really lucky that I'm here during this time because the third eye of the Earth chakra is the only chakra of the Earth's chakra system that moves around periodically. And so we not only have the heart chakra here over by, you know, the Stonehenge area, but we also have the third eye chakra of the Earth over here by Glastonbury. And it was just so amazing <laughs> to go get activated there, to go work with this energy. So I'm going to activate my third eye tomorrow. I'm doing an Akashic... Um, Akashic activation, third eye activation, I'm going to do it on myself and anyone else who wants to participate. Um, if you're looking for to sign up for this activation, I have it in my special events section of my store um, with any of the event activations I'm doing in special events. So for sure, check that out. What is the Akashic? <laughs> I used to picture it as this library that you could physically go dig around in, like in the third dimension, where you could go like flip through books and things like that, but I'm finding doing this job channeling that is more of an energy that is accessible to everyone that we can translate as you know these channels especially as we're becoming multi-dimensional so I've always been doing these videos not to channel information for you only but to teach you guys how to tune in as a channel just like I did I'm always telling you guys what to do to detox get rid of you know the toxic people and what you can do to shift your reality in the ways that I have doing this um, let me tell you a little bit I have some new people coming to this page when I was asleep, my life looked completely different. I was running um, my life on this limited programming that I probably got from being indoctrinated by my school systems, from my toxic family members and things like that, right? So I was running on this third dimensional programming where I believed I was limited in every way. I pretty much was taught that I could never do anything. I could never change reality as one person. And it was all just limiting in every way, like excuses um, as to why I could never do anything. Um, through Reiki and healing alone, I have gone not only across the country of America, but across the planet, across the globe. And I'm over here, you know, doing this very divine spiritual work 
and I'm working on not only unlimiting myself, manifesting in the fifth dimension, but I'm also working on teaching others how to unplug from that third dimensional construct of what they can and can't do to unlimit their manifesting. So I am huge on trying to teach everyone that we should be focusing right now on love, <coughs> and that starts with self-love and on manifesting, and we just made a shift astrologically. Um, we not only shifted into Taurus, which is, you know, ruled by the planet of love and manifesting, but we went into Pluto retrograde right now. As of today, um, Pluto is all about death and rebirth, right? Think the Phoenix. But, you know, this is a powerful time, not only for the Divine Feminine, which you guys know I work with mainly, but for the Divine Masculine. We have had a rising, hopefully, of the Feminine for a while now. Hopefully you guys are stepping into your power, realizing who you are. You guys have been hopefully doing this spiritual work. And now is the time for the Divine Masculine to take back their power. <clears throat> On a lot of levels right now, especially with this Pluto retrograde, it is time to get rid of the things that are keeping you on these third dimensional timelines, whether it is, you know, jobs killing your soul, aligning with things you don't like that are bad for humanity, um, toxic family members, toxic partners, relationships no longer serving you. You guys are realizing that we can't create anything new, I said yesterday, without letting go of the old. So this is a powerful time for having more faith and trust in the universe and letting go of the third dimensional paradigm. A lot of that is programming. It is the programming that has kept us stuck, convincing us that we could never do anything. And we're realizing that this is a manifest reality. And if we can get a grip on our thoughts, we can control and change our entire reality. But nothing is going to change in that outer world until it changes within on many levels. A lot of you guys are realizing this is going to take a lot of inner work. Make sure you guys are dropping your card, if you, a name if you want a card. Um, so we have a huge emphasis on finding balance between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine on so many levels and healing these collective wounds that have been passed down for so long collectively with there's a lot of gender roles of what is expected of men and women, where we should be, different roles as jobs and things like that. And it's time that we transcend all of this programming and come into real balance and harmony. And we know that there are very real forces that would love to keep humanity in a state of separateness. It's where we're evolving out of, hopefully, out of that, you know, that illusion of separateness and back into oneness on so many levels. I'm just going to throw this in there, too. I see a lot of lessons going on. People are like, the dark is attacking me. I'm getting nailed with all this negativity and lessons. No, those are just lessons. This is our school. Right now, there are a lot of lessons going on, gauging people in their reaction and their response to things. I was explaining to my boyfriend this morning, it's like you get a lesson, and if you're getting triggered, okay, then the universe is like, you have more work to do. Um, so if you guys are getting triggered, if you guys are letting outside influences, um, you know, have any control over your frequency, your reality, things like that, more inner work. So you guys are really just leveling up fast, and I think it's becoming apparent that not everyone is meant to come with you to the next level. The people that aren't passing their tests and doing things like that are just really not shifting their realities in the same way. So more releasing right now so that you guys can have old outcomes that are no longer serving you collapse into new manifestations right now. Um, we can never create more or bring more into our lives unless we're grateful for the things that we have as well. So, you know, while we're in this element of Taurus the next month or so, I would really spend a lot more time in gratitude for the things that you do have. So, huge emphasis on love, manifesting, and gratitude. I keep on saying there's going to be a lot of spiritual unions that come together this month, especially out of the entire year. Um, and that isn't going to happen if you guys are in toxic relationships or with people not serving you. You can never find the new till you let go of the old. So for sure, more letting go of any relationships not serving you. My link is above. If you guys need me, you guys know you can inbox me. Bernice Brown, good morning. I got new Reiki cards I'm excited about. They look pretty good. I just opened them briefly yesterday, but I was like, oh, I can use these. Bernice Miracles. I like the art too. <laughs> Bernice Miracles. You guys need to unlimit your manifesting like me so much that you need a manifest you need a miracle to pull off what you're trying to do. Welcome to my life, right? I'm always kind of trying to dream bigger and bigger, and I'm usually needing a straight miracle to pull it off. I need one this week too, but rest assured I will get it. So you guys need to, you know, be asking for miracles, but also be having faith that you will receive them. Stephanie Mays, vision. 
Um, we need to be viewing things with our third eye. We know things are not what they seem around this matrix. If you guys are listening to what people are saying around you, or the politicians are telling you, right, or the news is telling you, any outside sources, you're going to be led astray. You need to tune in and use your intuition, use your third eye, because things are not what they seem around here. Rin Rin. You're working on spiritual purification. Everyone is a channel. What makes you more of a powerful channel or healer or, you know, more tuned into your abilities will be the amount of spiritual purity or purifying your energy on every level. That's what ascension is. This energy is hitting the planet and it is purifying everyone at a deep level. It kind of a ways of describing it. Like water. We're being purified by the energy. Everything is being pulled out, not only of our bodies, but out on a soul level. And that's why we see so much purging out of everything going on during this time. And if you want a real reading, my link is above. My real readings are, I go into here now, you know, anything Akashic that you could think to ask or want to know about. And I do past lives all in one reading. That's my Akashic reading I do too. <clears throat> Catherine Zen, hi. <laughs> Unconditional love. Oh my God. I just went through this kind of shifting of timelines and I lost a lot of people around me, but I realized they had not, you know, mastered that fifth dimensional frequency of unconditional love. Yes. On every level. It doesn't mean we should be around toxic people, but you need to understand and suddenly get past these judgments around here um, because you have no idea what people are going through, what choices they have, and people are never their lessons. <laughs> people are so judgmental to other people, especially with that Bible program and third dimensional program about other people, what they're going through, their lessons, why they're, you know, this is happening to people. You're not understanding. We're never our lessons. The lessons are things that are shaping us into who we're meant to be. <laughs> we were never any of these lessons. They were experiences that we need to see on some level, you know, that have given us information and knowledge that have made us who we are now. More unconditional love. Maruza blunts Kansu. More trust and faith in the universe. It's a reoccurring theme this week. So many people are not willing to let go because they have no faith and trust anymore in the universe. And we see that. Because a lot of people are having crown chakra issues going through the third dimension. And so we need to have more faith, more trust in the universe. Ari Pucci. Good. Make sure you guys share this out. You get a badge and you'll probably get a card quicker. <laughs> All right. Light. We are that light. We need to shine brighter. We need to master our frequency and we're going to do that by doing things that light us up. I've had a really challenging month. I've just had a lot of lessons fast, a lot of clearing, purifying, um, purging last month, right? I just kind of had intense lessons going on here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do what makes me happy and gives me bliss. I'm going to kind of run away and go on an adventure. I'm kind of loving traveling. It gets me out of my house. It moves the energy. You know, if the energy is getting stagnant in your life, go for an adventure. Get out for the day. Go to a park you've never been to. Go do a new experience. So I'm going to go do some new experiences. I'm going to be also doing videos, which I love to do. And that's what I'm doing on with this energy. <laughs> Gretchen Haya, awesome acceptance you know we need to accept that things have always played out just as they were meant to be um, on every level everyone's always like I messed up my life I should have wish I would have done this differently um, you're not in as much control as you've been led to believe here when you were asleep so things had to happen exactly as they did we need to accept all aspects of ourselves and all lessons and I can really tell with the people that have that are mastering self-love <laughs> a lot of people um, are manifesting bad relationships and things like that because, you know, they cannot accept every part of themselves and love themselves. Um, usually we accept those kind of relationships in our lives because we're not loving ourselves completely. Um, so for sure, more self-care, more self-love, more acceptance of everything going on. Selma Aliyah. Discipline. This is going to take a lot of hard work. I was making a joke to my boyfriend yesterday that everyone loves coming to learn with me, right? Until they figure out that it's going to be hella hard work and that you guys are going to have to do this. I can't do it for you. I can't try to lead you and give you advice, but you need to do this. Um, it's like earth school. Only you can do your lessons and people figure out, you know, they can't just complain anymore coming out of 3d and that we have to be in control of our reality. And if we don't like it, we need to pay attention to our words, our thoughts and change our internal state. And ascension isn't for everyone. It really is hard work. It takes a lot of self-discipline. 
Far power, good. And I will be live next from Glastonbury. I went and drank the water where, I guess it's where the Holy Grail ended up from Jesus. And so there is a fountain and this water is from the ley lines. It's full of copper and iron and it's one of those magical springs that is said to heal people and have healing properties. Last time when we went there, we were drinking to have these magical properties. And you know, this island has a really crazy history because it was Avalon, which is really connected to Atlantis, which you know I'm very connected to on so many levels. It's kind of what led me here. So I'm really excited. Next time I see you, I will be live from there. Barb, waiting. <laughs> We're done waiting for people to save us, right? We're not we're not gonna wait for a hero of our story. Susan Madison, I'm watching my uh, internet looks weird. I'm not sure if it's like going out. Susan Madison, good, good morning. Um, higher awareness. This is about attaining higher states of consciousness. It is about letting go of our limited third dimensional self centered perspective, stepping back and understanding, you know, unity, consciousness, and higher awareness. Keep working on your third eye. I'm doing the third eye activation tomorrow, too, for anyone looking to expand their psychic awareness, better access to the Akashic Records. That's the Glastonbury one I'm doing tomorrow in the special event. Kylie Beach. This is about action and stepping into this action, and it's a huge theme this month. That you know we can't do this. We can't just manifest everything we want without putting us some energy into it. And, you know we're gonna find that with this element of Taurus. We have a lot of rebuilding to do. You guys are master builders, though, in case you forgot. But we have a lot of rebuilding to do. Um, we just did a lot of stripping away of self, and now it is time that we build the new. Terra stars. Time to let go and any relationships not serving you. Sometimes that's friendships. I had someone come to my inbox today and they're like, why did you unfriend me? And I'm like, just listen, I just shifted to a new reality. And I just noticed that pretty much all my friends kind of got stripped away and I'm okay with that because I need space for what I'm creating and these people aren't coming with me where I'm headed right now. So if my relationships became no longer beneficial for either of us. We weren't learning anything off of each other again. So I need to let go so that I have space for new connections that, you know, I can be of assistance to to come into my life on a lot of levels. Let go of any relationships that you're no longer learning or teaching in. I had that happen with a personal, you know, romantic relationship where I was definitely not learning from this person and they were no longer open to learning from me. So the relationship ended very fast. Kathleen Thurmer, serenity, we're trying to manifest peace on every level, um, this is going to happen internally that, you know, I'm really into meditation, spending a lot of time alone, um, you know, two or three things like that, once we have our energy stabilized and we're coming from a place of peace, you know, it creates a peaceful reality, as above, so below, Amy Lynn Hurst, the two of cups is always love, Get ready for it. This is meant to be this fairy tale love story <laughs> on every level. I know people forgot that, right? But people have been willing to set aside that love that your soul is here for. For other things, perceived material comforts, um, bad relationships, anything blocking you from that ultimate spiritual attainment of love. Amy Lynn. <laughs> Introspection. We need time alone to integrate. I see a lot of people aren't around right now. A lot of more people are unplugging, maybe self-caring. We have a lot of solar players. So we're shifting right now. I was checking out the Schumann Resonance, and we're making these huge collective shifts. So a lot of people are feeling it, whether it's ascension symptoms, you're just tired, achy, um, you know, maybe just unmotivated, things like that. So we're going through these shifts. Make sure you're spending a lot of time to integrate. I'm also going camping this weekend on live feed. <laughs> I forgot to say it, right? I have exciting things. I'm not coming back to Monday. We'll also be camping this weekend and for sure doing some type of live feed card. So I'm excited to change my scenery. <clears throat> Marina Williams. Union. I'm not sure your romantic status. Does This goes for anyone watching this feed. I'm not sure for your relationship status. Um, but if you're not in a relationship, the goal is spiritual union. If you are in a relationship, 
Better assess it. Is that your, you know, spiritual union right there? Are you happy? A lot of people should be asking themselves that about their relationship. If you guys are in a relationship, are you happy? Is it bringing you joy still? Is it bringing you bliss or is it dragging you down? Time to assess our relationships because like I said, we're getting ready for a lot of spiritual unions if you guys are not already in them. Christine, Starcy, Marie, good morning. Gratitude, message of the feed anyway. More timing, gratitude allows us to manifest better. And you're already an amazing manifester because you're practicing. And I realized when I woke up, we live in a manifest reality. I don't know how to do that. Time to practice. So I began my journey practicing manifesting things and I'm getting pretty good at it now just because of my mission. So stay aligned with what you want to create, where you want to end up, things you want to do in the future. Tammy Oliver, sending crazy love too. Time to take back our power. How do we do that? By letting go of the things draining our soul. Whether, like I said, jobs, relationships, <coughs> friends. Like, you should be getting a recharge when you talk to your friends. Yeah. Like, I go ahead and I collide with my friends and we're like, hi, and they're getting a recharge. Do you ever have these conversations with people? And you go to talk to them and it's just like, you just want to get away from that. <laughs> of those dead end exchanges. Brian Feliciano, devotion. Um, I feel that a lot of people around me are very devoted to the spiritual lifestyle and the spiritual path and it's really apparent. Um, so I know that you've been working really hard on your energy and things are about to shift crazy. I love watching your story because you've been posting about your business and get ready for it to take off. So I know we're all manifesting and we have this idea where we want to go in the future. Like you probably do with your business. Well, you need to like triple the size of where you want to go. I kept saying this. We need to triple our manifestations. Yeah. You want to go on a trip across the world, you better plan like 10 more destinations. Time to unlimit what we think is possible. Bethany Kent, clarity. <laughs> As we're doing this ascension, our third eye is continuing to expand, bringing us more awareness, more clarity, and it's just amazing to be around all the light workers. I'm always very humble and grateful. This type of people, I think. I am always in awe of the souls around me, the work everyone's doing. I'm just we just the heroes that will save the planet. And it's just mind blowing to me. Yes, the people that will make this up. It's just really mind blowing. You have amazing intuition. Keep listening to it. Kimberly Ann Monticelli, honesty. <clears throat> Truth is a huge part of the fifth dimension. I'm going through some serious... First, I was doing, I'm doing the heart chakra. I know you can't hear that, but I did such a heart chakra, throat chakra expansion at Stonehenge, and this was over a month and a half ago. Right? It's like a month and a half ago, and I'm still kind of integrating these upgrades. So we're going through some serious um, fourth and fifth dimensional upgrades right now, not just collectively, but individually. Keep speaking your truth. It's really like a key to the fifth dimension. Yes, um, you know, any type of words, thoughts, not in alignment with who your higher self is. Your higher self is that healer, pure divine energy, right? Yes. You're becoming in every way. Um, if you're not in alignment with that, it's not our So make sure that your words are in alignment, you know, with your divine essence and your divine self. I'm going to be getting off of here. I know, short deck. I always do a deck of cards. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be getting off of here, but I wanted to do a live anyway, but I'm going to be doing tons of videos for my trip anyway, so I'm kind of recharging today. I am around today. If you need me for energy work or readings or anything like that, um, in order to set something up, you can just go to my site and I find you immediately. For sure, um, if you like my videos, check out my Glastonbury activation I'm doing tomorrow. It's in the special event section of the And that is an Akashic Record activation as well as the third eye activation. Lots so of for sure, check it out. Hit my inbox if you need more information on it. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything, right? That is about it. Um, if you guys are not taking the detox vitamins, hit my business page inbox for that list too. I can't, I'm always horrified at the people that are trying to make this spiritual ascension with these energy shifts, not, you know, detoxing the physical part. So for sure, if you're not detoxing, hit my business page inbox for the list and I will be back live next from Glastonbury. <laughs>